Hello, welcome to Kids Corner. Okay, for today's project, we have a project that will help kids learn about and explore cubism. So, before you start this project, especially if you're a homeschooler, you might want to Google it and show um, your child some Picasso or some other artist in that time that did the style artwork, just to give an idea of what we're of just some art history and get an idea what we're kind of inspired this project of. So all you really need is some paper, a pencil, a ruler of any kind, doesn't matter, and any you have them pick whether they want to use crayons, markers, color pencil, you can even use paint, although if paint you might want to use thicker paper. I'm choosing to use color pencil today. But anything that they want to add color of their choice, watercolor, whatever you want, have them choose. And what you're going to do is you're just going to draw a simple, simple, kind of like a silhouette kind of simple object, whatever they want. They can draw like a cat, a car, a house. Um, I like butterflies, so in my example, I'm going to put it this way, it's just a butterfly. And I'm not even going to be that detailed. I mean, you almost want to be elementary with this, this. And you want to cover a lot of the paper. This is only a half sheet of paper, but you can do a full sheet if you want. And you can see this is just really less detail is actually better for this project. Okay? So you don't want like your image to be like very small. You want it to be most of the, take most of the space up. Then you're going to just take your roller and you're going to lay it all different kinds of ways. They don't have to be completely horizontal, vertically. You could do angles or whatever. And have your kid just draw multiple lines. Well, you can do this too. And you can do a few, or you can do a lot. The more you do, the smaller, obviously, your, you have um, smaller triangles and cubes and stuff, the more lines you put. So this is kind of nice if you have a very young child that helps some start using a ruler. So you, your projects might look like something like this. You might have more squares, you might have um, tinier, if you have more lines obviously you're going to have tinier spaces in here. Then you're going to take the color of your choice or co like uh, material of your choice, whether it's crayon, marker, or whatnot, and you're going to color each individual section a different color. You can pick up like a limited palette, like the example I'm going to show you because I already did it, I only use four colors. So if you only want to pick a few or you the, your child can go crazy and use every color in the rainbow, it's whatever you want. Be, like here, this is the middle of the butterfly, even though there's no really cube here, you're just coloring every section where there's a line. So this will be a color of this. This, 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 and have them have fun with it. There might be smaller places. This is what you're going to end up. This is what it will look like if you use color pencil. Let me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this is what it's going to look like. So, it's a nice little art project for school. My son started, he wants to finish it tomorrow because he put a lot of little squares. But this is what a car would look like. And he said, this is really fun. So have him draw. He has a house here. He didn't color in yet. So have him draw whatever they want as long as it's simple. Use a ruler, draw lines, and then color each space with the color they're choosing. So this can be for older or younger kids, depending how detailed and complicated you want to make it. All right, so try this out. Let me know what you think if you... Did the project, I'd love to see it, post a picture, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.